Rayo Vallecano and Celta Vigo face each other in the suburbs of Madrid in the Liga Round 14. Los Vallecanos are enjoying a very good season, with the team sitting in the top half of the table ahead of Thursday's clash. Keep in mind though that the capital club failed to beat Old Celeste in the previous three meetings between the two sides in all competitions. The good news for the hosts is that midfielder Randy Nteka is back from suspension. The Galatians, on the other hand, aim to escape the relegation zone, and seeing that they will go for a victory as well, I am loving big value here, both teams to score. A man to watch in the away team will be Iago Aspas, who scored his seventh goal of the season in a 2-1 loss to Osasuna, while Gabriel Viega returns from suspension. Again, the play here, I'm definitely going. Rayo Vallecano and Celta Vigo, both teams to score, yes. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. I was interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Go get them. This is Trending Rabbit. Valencia and Real Betis square off against each other in a highly anticipated La Liga game at Estadio de Mestala. Los que are on a five-game winless run in Primera Division, and no doubt they will leave their hearts on the field. Key attacker Edison Cavani faces race against clock to be fit for the midweek clash with Al Ilax Morba, Diakabi and Dominic remaining in the recovery room. Los Peticos on the other hand played out a 1-1 draw with Sevilla in the Sevilla Derby at the weekend with the team finishing the match with 10 men on the field. As a result both Nabil Fikir and Borja Iglesias are banned for the Valencia game while all Joaquin, Luis Felipe, Juan Mi Jimenez and Victor Camarasa are out of contention with injuries. Anyhow, I see the home side winning here, uh, but I'm going to also do both teams to score. So I'm looking at a 2 1 score basically. So give me Valencia win and over 2.5. Or you can go Valencia win and both teams to score. I, again, I see a prediction of 2 to 1 Valencia. So whichever way you want to play it, but that would be my play. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Whatever it is you're doing, guys and gals, tail or fade, love or hate these picks, at the end of the day, make up your own choices. I'm just giving the stats, facts, and figures of each match. Good luck, gang. Go get them. This is Trending Rabbit. Match day 14 coming to a close with this final match of the week between Real Madrid and Cadiz. Los Blancos are eager to defend their trophy, but they will have tough opponent in Barca, who look unstoppable at the moment. But anyhow, Real Madrid players should mind their own business and they are likely to go all guns blazing at the Yellow Submarine. Tony Cruz is back from suspension, while Benzema should be fit for the match. Defender Antonio Rudiger is yet another absentee in the home team. Cadiz, on the other hand, aim to escape the relegation zone. But seeing that Real Madrid are a real force to be reckoned with at home, the underdogs are unlikely to grab something from this match. I don't even think they're going to score a goal. Victor Cruz limped off with an injury in the goal is draw with Getafe, with fellow defender Isa Carcelon likely to step up. I'm going to go with, you can go with two plays here. You can go Real Madrid on the Asian handicap at minus one and a half, or you can go both teams to score no, or you can go Real Madrid to win to nil. Either one of those ones, I think they're all good picks, and those are going to be my picks for this match. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Again, always interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck and go get them. This is Trending Rabbit.